teacher from East Lothian in Scotland and in this tutorial I'm going to be talking to you about uh, how to make comics in the classroom. Uh, comics can be made and developed with just about any Microsoft Office application but in this example we're going to be looking specifically at PowerPoint. Uh, comics have got huge potential for developing a, a wide range of skills uh, in particular literacy, creativity uh, and of course ICT. They're also great fun and very very good for introducing and teaching about controversial issues. The secret of any good comic is a successful storyboard, and this is something that needs to be developed in advance with the children in your class, um, along with support from the classroom teacher. In this tutorial, we're going to have a look at how to make a very, very simple three-stage comic that's static, and in doing so, we're going to look at the tools that are needed to draw shapes, to crop an image, to use clip art, and also to set transparency levels. <laughs> first thing that we need to do is we need to draw our comic frame. To do this in the Home tab, we select the Rectangle tool and then we hold down the mouse button and hold down the Shift key to draw a rectangle. When we're happy with that, we just release the button. Now what we need to do is we need to change the shape and the colour of the rectangle and we do this using the Shape Fill effect here. So we're going to select No Fill. Uh, then in the Shape Outline tool, I want a black outline and I also want to change the weight of the outline, in this case uh, to make it a three point. When I'm happy with that, uh, I need to make uh, copies of the rectangle. So I click on the rectangle and I right click copy, right click paste, right click paste. And now I arrange my rectangles to form the basis of my comic strip. What we're going to do now is we're going to put some images into the comic frame. To do this I'm going to go up to the insert tab and then click on clip art. My search is for countryside and when I get an image I like I'm going to click on it and it imports it into Microsoft Office. The next thing that I'm going to do is I want to resize my image so it's roughly the same width as my comic frame. When I'm happy with that what I need to do now is make my image square so it fits in perfectly. I select the image and then across the ribbon at the top I click on the crop button and I can now crop my image completely inside PowerPoint. Finally, I select the image again, I right click on it and I send the image to the back to make it fit into the frame. In my second picture, I want to give the impression that I'm walking closer to the tree. So I'm going to use the same image and I'm going to crop the image so I can just see the tree. And when I'm happy with that, I'm going to drag my image up to my box and I'm going to make the image into a square. Again, when I'm happy, click on the image, I right click and I send the tree to the back. My final image is going to be a picture of a leaf. So again, I search for this in the clip art menu. And when I've got an image I'm happy with, I click on that to import it into Office. Again, I resize, position, right click, and center back. Now I'm going to give my comic a title. I'm going to do this by going up to the insert menu. Uh, I'm going to pick a shape and I want a rectangle with rounded edges. I'm going to decide where I want my title to be and then I'm going to type directly into the box. Once I've typed my title, if I go up to the format menu, I can change the look and I could also change the feel of the title box. No comic is complete without people, so I need to find some people from the clip art gallery. When I find um, some characters that I like, I click on them to bring them into Office. What I can do now is I can move my character to where I would like it to appear in the comic and, if necessary, resize it. 
It's also possible for me to give my comic a more professional feel by removing the background colour around my character. To do this I go to the Format tab and where it says Recolor, I click on that Set Transparent Colour button and then click on the colour that I want to make transparent. I can do this with other characters as well. No comic is complete without speech bubbles, and again these are very very easy to insert in any Office application. In the Insert tab I pick Shape, and then I pick the callout that I want. I can then drag that where I would like it on the comic. By moving the yellow diamond I can make the speech bubble appear to come from the character's mouth. I can then type what I would like them to say. Just like before, if I click on the Format tab, I can change what the look and feel of my speech bubble looks like. You can also add thought bubbles in exactly the same way. Again, in the format menu, I can change the look and the feel of my thought bubble. The challenge now is for you to think about how you might use comics in class. I've used comics in lots of ways, including to teach number stories for personal social and health education, and also controversial issues in social subjects. Remember, you could also get children to take their own photographs and to import that into a comic. This would be really, really good for tracking learning. Well, that concludes my very brief tutorial for making comics in Microsoft Office. And if you've got any further questions, why don't you have a look at the UK Innovative Teachers Network.